Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at this particular question that was sent to me through Instagram. So if you do have any questions, uh, send them through. When I get some time, I will get around to making a video for it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a, first off, we've got a parabola here that's x squared. So we know that this parabola is going to look like this. And it's obviously going to cut the x-axis a couple of times. Um, we just, we've got to actually work out what those two points are. Once we do that, then the next part is working out the equations of the tangents. So the tangents are those lines that are going to go touching that point, right? So those highlighted in green, those are the tangents. So we're going to end up with um, two equations at the end of this um, question uh, because we've actually got two tangents. So first step is to figure out what these two points are. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually put x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals to 0. Now, if you've forgotten how to do this, uh, it's just, you know, factorize, put it equal to 0 and work out what, you, what each factor is. So in this case, we've got x plus 5, x minus 2. Uh, therefore, we can say that x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. So x is equal to negative 5 or x equals to 2. Now, if you're in a bit of a rush and you just want to like, don't want to do the quadratic, because remember, this is a calculus paper. So you could definitely go to um, polynomial degree 2 and just put in those values. So 1, 3, and minus 10. And what that should give you is your two x values, which is 2 and negative 5. So negative 5 happens to be there and 2 happens to be there. Uh, now, we also know what these two points are, uh, where it cuts the x-axis. The first point is actually negative 5, 0, and the second point is 2, 0. The next step is actually working out the gradients at negative 5 and positive 2. So we've got f of x, which is the function, which is x squared plus 3x minus 10. We can work out what f dash of x is, which is going to give us the gradient function, which in this case is 2x plus 3. So the next step is putting negative 5 in the gradient function. So 2 times negative 5 plus 3, that's going to give us negative 7. And then the gradient at 2 is 2 times 2 plus 3, which is going to give me positive 7. So the gradient function is this one right here, which is highlighted in blue. And all I've done here is I've actually substituted the x values uh, into the gradient function. So that's going to give me those two gradients. So comes the next part, because now I need to work out what the equations um, of the tangents are. So the first step is I've got equation of a straight line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now the points that I have here is negative 5, 0 and the gradient is equal to minus 7. So remember that this is x1 and y1, and then this is gradient. So I can rewrite this as y minus 0 equals negative 7x minus negative 5. So you got to be careful with those um, little symbols there. So we've got y is equal to negative 7x plus 5, and then expanding it out, we're going to get negative 7x minus 35. So that's my first um, equation of the tangent. And the second one, I'm still going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, some people say, hey, can I just use y equals mx plus c? So I'm going to show you that method here as well. So yeah, you can use y equals mx plus c to figure out what the c value is. And that's what we're going to do in this case. So our points in this case is 2, 0, and m is equal to 7. But when we're doing the y equals mx plus c method, this is x and this is y. So then what we've got here is 0 is equal to 7 times 2 plus c. Uh, so then 0 is equal to 14 plus c. So we can say that c is equal to negative 14. So with that in mind, the second equation, you can write it as y equals 7x minus 14. So what we're going to do is just have a quick look at um, Desmos for this, guys, just to show you guys how it all makes sense. 
So here we go. So we've got our um, equation right there, which is our parabola. That's x squared plus 3x minus 10. We worked out what the two gradients was, which was negative, uh, negative 5 and positive 2. Because if you look at it, it is cutting the x-axis at negative 5 and positive 2. Um, we find out what the gradients were at negative 5 and positive 2. So it's negative 7, so it's a line that's actually going down. And then on 2, the line is actually, the tangent is actually going up. So that's why the gradient is positive. So when we worked out our um, gradient, no, equation of the tangent for the first one, as you can see, this purple line here, uh, and then the second one, which is another purple line. Now, if I actually zoom in, like, you can kind of see that that's the tangent there, but, you know, that's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much what it is. So we've actually got um, two tangents that, that are actually cutting that x-axis uh, for this particular parabola. And we know that those equations are correct. So yeah, so this is pretty much how you answer this type of questions. Uh, keep in mind that um, equation of a straight line is something that you need to remember. Uh, no, you get given in the formula sheet, so you should be okay with that moving forward. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.